Hello, welcome. My name is Carrie Wales. I am speaking on behalf of the Group B Pro Vaccination of Children. This group includes myself, Carrie Wales, April Janya, Michael Ratliff, and Andrea Bogdan. In January of 2015, the CDC reported that an unvaccinated child was hospitalized due to an exposure to measles, a highly contagious and preventable disease in Disneyland, California. In February, just one month later, 125 cases of measles were confirmed from this incidence. 28 of these cases were intentionally unvaccinated people due to personal beliefs. Currently in Minnesota, the law still allows parents or guardians to electively exempt their children from childhood vaccinations for conscientiously held beliefs. This is a public safety, health safety issue. We need to ensure, ensure the safety of our children, elderly, sick, and vulnerable by providing mandatory childhood immunizations. Since July of 2017, the CDC reported 117 cases of measles with infections occurring in Minnesota. The policy we present repeals the elective exemption of vaccinations due to conscientiously held beliefs, according to Minnesota State Statute 121A.15. Medical exemptions would still be upheld. Charles Dickens quoted, the need of many outweigh the need of a few. It has been proven time and time again that group immunity protects society as a whole. Measles, mumps, rubella, polio, hepatitis, all these diseases, once devastating, can now be managed and even eradicated due to vaccines. The WHO reported that the measles vaccination has saved over 20 million lives in the last 15 years. Before 1980 and the availability of the vaccine, 2.5 million people died each year for, from this disease. This graph reiterates that measles outbreaks are on the rise, with Minnesota being a state with many reported cases. Unimmunized children pose a risk to society that outweighs personal exemption. The need of a society are higher priority than the personal belief system. Globally, the CDC reported that it only cost $1 to vaccinate a child and protect him or her from measles and rubella. The burden of treating preventable diseases is enormous comparatively to preventing them. In the U.S., the approximate cost of the MMR vaccine is $20.50. However, the cost of a hospitalization of a patient infected with measles is upwards of $46,000. Certainly, the cost of prevention outweighs the cost of the disease. We can take California Statute 120338 as an example of successful repealed exemptions. California's Governor Brown called to action regarding the Disneyland outbreak and repealed philosophical and religious immunization exemption with California State Statute 120338. If we look at legal recourse that could occur if an outbreak were to happen because of the state of Minnesota allows a population or school to go unimmunized, the school or state could be sued if the outbreak caused a death in a child who had a medical condition or in an infant who could not receive that vaccination. Current legislation on the Minnesota State Floor 143 and the House Floor 96 want to amend the exemption law. These only diminish the vaccine exemptions and allow for loophole exemptions. We need to have complete repeal of the conscientiously held beliefs vaccination exemption. Our policy declaration is, in order to protect our society as a whole and to ensure the health and well-being of future generations, childhood immunizations must be made compulsory for all who do not have a medical contraindication in the state of Minnesota. This is the right choice for the safety of society. We know legislation has been enacted and successful with the example of California. This moves us towards total immunization of children to eradicate lethal diseases. This is the World Health Organization's logo for National Immunization Week. Immunizations save lives. I want to thank you for taking this time to watch this presentation and the references follow in the additional slides. Have a wonderful evening.
love Scott. I love Scott. Scotty Scott Scott. Here it goes down. Down into my belly. Mm -hmm.